Not only did Electro Titans get a new level, but with the introduction of the newest pet, the Angry Jelly, Zap Titan is more powerful than ever before. The jelly is going to revolutionize water walks by completely speeding them up. And when it comes to Zap Titan, which isn't the quickest army in the world, that is always going to be a good thing. Now, Zap Titan on a box space, we're trying to flame fling the town hall really at all costs. But you have a look at this. This is an anti flame flinger town hall. We have two ground bows and a king in the area. But despite this, are we still going to be able to water walk it? I guess you're just going to have to find out. I said water walk it, I meant flame flinger it. So let's start a warden all the way over there with the healers by the way always worth putting a cleanup wizard down because the warden is not going to be doing his own funneling now i believe the warden's going to go down the pathing on this base is not great for this we're going to use one two three there to help out and then they had hunter and that rage head hunter should be putting in work and then watch where the warden goes next he should go after the expo and that is exactly what we want unfortunately we pulled that but that's okay now we're going to go all the way across our scroll wheel. I agree the scroll wheel's too long, uh, but it's it's fine if you have double deployment. But if not, uh, yeah, not much you can do. Now the warden is... Vis uh, uh, the jelly just died to a Sam. Another really nice reason to have the jelly pulling a Sam for us. And now we're going to do this. And we can pull the warden over. And that flame fling is going to have a free path to the town hall. I should have set this funnel ages ago. That's okay. And now we can use the Root Riders to open up that outer layer wall for us. The Titans are all going to beat on that wall very nicely. Let's set up our funnel over here. What, Titans? What? What are they going for? I have no idea why they didn't just go through. Okay. Well, Titans are going to be Titans. By the way, you can see I still have a spare Zap. That's because I'm bringing 7 Zap, 1 Quake. Uh, just in case I need to go for, say, a Ricochet Cannon. My King's on the top side here. The Root Riders are important. I just need them to live long enough that they can open the core of the base here. And look, they are going to do that. And this hit looks terrible. I'm not going to lie. Even I think it's a little bit terrible. Uh, but that's fine because all these troops have so many hit points now. The Queen's going to reroute, get out of range. Beautiful. The Flame Flingers on the bottom side still putting in work. And despite the fact that this hit looked terrible, like it looked terrible, so much went wrong. It was not my best attack ever. I still believe this is going to be a three star. Nice troll Tesla. I always forget that this base has a troll Tesla. Flame Fling is still doing its thing. Because if you can get through two Expos and a King, your Flame Fling is going to get pretty nice value. These Titans are still alive. And you can see the value of the Root Riders with this army. They just open up so many walls, as did the Flame Flinger. RC ability goes off here. And this is a Clan Clash Triple. I was kind of hoping this hit would be cleaner, but stuff it. I'm going to leave a deliberately unclean hit in this video to show you that you don't have to execute it perfectly. These troops have an insane amount of hit points. Now on this base, I could flame fling in the town hall if I wanted to, but keep in mind, I don't really want to zap in that area. There's not much zap value there, and therefore activating the town hall is going to be really hard because unfortunately, your warden can't do it when the jelly's on him because can only target defenses. So what am I going to do instead? Well, let's flame, uh, let's uh, warden walk the back end of the base and see what we can do after that. So, this is, in case you can't tell, this is the first time I hit the base. I don't really know what I'm doing with it yet. Ba -ba -ba. So, let's zap say that. Tell you what, the more I do this, the more I'm starting to think, maybe, maybe I don't need seven zaps. But I, I, I'm committing to it. I think seven zaps is better. Obviously, I only needed six for that. Uh, and I accidentally used the seventh one, but that's fine. If you ever want to zap a ricochet cannon, it is worth it. But yeah, you can definitely see that you don't necessarily need it. So I'm going to rage my warden here. Get that next little bit. He goes up and gets rid of the ricochet cannon, which is perfect. Headhunter will help with the rest. I do need... Unfortunately, you can see how hard this is going to be to funnel. Uh, to draw my warden back because he's kind of... Uh, he's kind of buried at the funnel. So this is one of the weaknesses of it. But you just need to be patient. Like I have been here. Hopefully it comes back. Otherwise, oh well, we're just going to YOLO it, right? Let's see if we can make this work. I'm really curious if this is going to work now. 
I'm so curious. I think the warden should come back over now. Okay, that's a little disappointing. I was really excited to see what would happen there. Because I had no clue. The flame thing is doing awesome work. Keep in mind, right, our zap value in this hit doesn't look like it was insane. And it, it wasn't like cracked zap value but you don't need it i got rid of a rage tower i set up awesome flame flinger pathing and that's honestly all i can ask for king's on the top side i think i have a giant somewhere it, all the way across this stupid line of troops that's insanely long where's my king oh that's him near the town hall and look at my troops they just don't die these troops don't die the root riders and the uh, the E-Titans, when you got the Apprentice Warden with them as well. This is ridiculous. They've just bullied their way across the core of the base. The King deals with the Town Hall. The Flame Flinger is alive on the bottom side, nearly dodging Mortar shots. And yet again, because we've got the Rage Gem, we either... Well, this Warden Walk wasn't quick because it took us a while to draw him back. But even then, he, he still carves out, carves, sorry, out so much base... And we are going to swag our royal champion. I didn't even know I hadn't popped my warden ability. That was not deliberate. I was not trying to swag my warden ability. It just happened. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. So, we, but we do know that Zap Titan is great on box spaces. It is the perfect style because either you can get the town hall like you saw in the first hit. Or you can do something cool on the back end like you saw in this one. I think the jelly definitely helps more with these back end ones. Because uh, you can clear out just so much more value than before. But I know what you're all about to ask. How does it go on ring bases hooked? Let's find out. I genuinely haven't tried, but I'm curious to see. I have a rough idea of what I want to do on this base, but I have no idea if it's going to work. So we can all enjoy this journey together. Let's start the water walk on the back end here. I want to see how far I can get with this water walk. What do I zap? Do you go for the monolith or the ricochet? I think I'm going to try and water walk the ricochet cannons. Now, keep in mind you have to be so... Well, I guess when you got 7 zap, 1 quake, you don't need to be careful with the monolith. But I do have to be careful with the eagle because 7 zap, 1 quake barely gets it down. Okay, so we've got 12 more seconds left. So I'm using a lot of my cleanup here. Come on, get it down in time. Beautiful. Nice warden. Now I'm going to switch to this. Warden, why don't you come for a little journey? I'm still going to send the king on the funnel here. Apparently the titans aren't as interested in being on the funnel. I get it. Come on. Yep. Beautiful. I mean, the king's going to put in work. Oh my word, look at the way that uh, queen stepped. Come on, warden, step up. I think that's in range of everything. Beautiful. Um, okay, that'll work. And now we can be super patient. Unfortunately, my warden, I think it's that ground bow. Yeah, the ground bow just didn't lock off. But that's okay. Ten what is my king doing? He's on one. <laughs> That's fine. I don't think it really matters. I don't I don't see a way this base stops all of this nonsense from getting through. I mean, look at it. So many troops up. So many hit points as well. There is no way you can stop this many troops if you're a Town Hall 16 base. I'm still sitting on the Freeze and Skeleton spell. I like the Skeleton spell because I think this army will struggle against bases with three single Inferno. So rather than bring two Freeze, bring that Skeleton spell. So in case that happens. Um, but yeah, don't. Uh, unfortunately, single three bases with three single Infernos aren't as much the meta at the moment. So I can't show you as many of those. But I'll be interested to see how you all go with that. Because uh, multi Inferno is super duper strong at the moment. Uh, nowhere I can use this Sneaky Gob really. And that's completely wrecked again. These Titans really don't die. It's, it's insane. It's only a couple of hundred extra hit points. But it does make a world of difference. Keep in mind it gets multiplied as well with the Apprentice Warden. So it's not 200 extra hit points that I think it was. It would end up being, you know, closer to 250. But another nice attack on a ring base. Now let's do a second ring to finish off the video. And here you go. Three single Infernos. Do we have a chance? I don't really know what I want to warden walk here. I really don't know what I want to do. Not that it'll be a surprise to you all, because I never know what I want to do. 
Okay, have an idea. I have an idea. So, we're gonna try and warden walk that single inferno. Yes, I am crazy. Where does the warden go next? I have no idea. Alright, come over, RC. What happens? Yeah, I have no idea. I did not know this. That is so cool. So you can't pull the warden over. I guess I should have figured that. Uh, that wasn't that wasn't exactly rocket science. But yeah, I, I had no idea. <laughs> did you guys know that? You can't pull the warden over because he's defense targeting. Um, please stop. Rip my queen, I guess. Rip my queen, I guess. All right, what were we zapping? It was over here. I want to get the RC. Oh my word. It's all falling apart. It's all falling apart. Hopefully the Root Riders will go inside the base. If not, oh well, it was a nice life. Pretty nice timing on the Warden ability. That poor King's, uh... Not gonna get uh, the poor king. My king's not gonna get wrecked as much because the poor single inferno can't do anything. And now we sit on this skeleton spell, and its job's gonna be to deal with that back end single inferno. Actually, its job's to help my royal champion not get wrecked. And we're sitting on the king ability, and we all know what the king ability can do in the town hall compartment. Still have all of my titans alive. That's the stupid thing. These titans refuse to die. I was definitely too early on my RC. She's uh, she's getting wrecked a bit more than I was hoping. This back end single inferno is going to be a problem. My queen died. Oh my word. Well, you're about to see the big weakness of this army here. The back end of the base. Because when the root riders die, there's not much you can do. But you st I've still got a king ability. I've still got a king ability. He's just going to beat through the wall. Nice to see ya. Sams are going off everywhere. Go down, King. Oh, I still have an extra rage. How often do you see a rage giant do its thing? Yeah, giant, you go. Yeah, you can 1v1 that. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna leave that in the video. That was a terrible attack. But I'm gonna... I, I'm also gonna be extra honest with you all. I struggled to do the first Warden Walk in this video. So the first attack, it took me a while to nail it. Because it's hard to unlearn the new timings of when you should be doing your Zap Quakes. When you should be activating the Town Hall. Um, and just the pathing of the Warden is definitely new to grasp. But once you learn to understand it, these last three bases I've tripled first go. All of them. Because once you kind of learn it... It makes your life so much easier. No time fails. I don't think any of them were particularly close on time. Maybe that one was. I wasn't having a look. But let me know down in the comments what you think of this. Would you like to see more with the jelly? Would you like to see more with uh, Titans in particular? I think this attack strategy, it's got like a little bit of an initial learning curve in terms of the jelly. But it's like four or five attacks. And once you've got it, it's so handy to have, even on a base like this, get rid of a single Inferno really easily with the Warden Walk, and from there, it's super duper easy. Good to know, though. Make sure you remember that. You can't pull your Warden over with your Queen within the first 35 seconds, but that's fine. You want to maximize that 35 seconds anyway. But that's it for this video. If you want to see us use this with the Fireball, so Jelly and Fireball, we did it in our update sneak peek video, which we'll link on the left.